As I stood frozen in my sister's prom dress, panic swept over me like a tidal wave. I couldn't believe I had been so careless, forgetting to ensure the door was unlocked before venturing into the backyard. The soft, flowing fabric of the dress that I had carefully chosen for this secret moment now felt like a heavy shroud of embarrassment. My heart pounded in my chest as I strained to listen to the faint laughter and chatter of my sister and her friends approaching. What was I going to do? There was no time to run back inside, they would spot me in an instant. My only option was to hide, but where? Desperation took hold as I scanned the backyard for a potential hiding spot. The garden shed. It was my only hope. I dashed towards it, the skirt of the dress fluttering around my legs. I managed to slip inside just in the nick of time, narrowly avoiding being caught red-handed. In the dimly lit shed, surrounded by tools and gardening supplies, I crouched down, hoping that my sister and her friends wouldn't need anything from here. I felt like a spy, hiding in plain sight, my heart still racing. I could hear their voices growing louder as they entered the backyard. What a beautiful day for a barbecue, my sister exclaimed. I peeked through a crack in the shed's door and saw her and her friends setting up a picnic area. I knew I couldn't stay hidden forever. The situation was becoming unbearable, and I had to come up with a plan to slip back into the house unnoticed. But how? My mind raced as I contemplated my next move, and I couldn't help but wonder how I had ended up in this situation in the first place. This secret passion for cross-dressing had always been a part of me, something I hid from everyone, even my sister. It was my way of temporarily escaping the expectations and pressures of my life. But now, I was trapped in her dress, in her world, with her friends right outside. As I continued to watch and wait, I knew that when the right moment came, I would have to summon every ounce of courage to make my escape. The stakes were high, and the delicate balance of my secret life was hanging by a thread. The minutes in the cramped garden shed felt like an eternity, but eventually, the moment of truth arrived. My sister, Sarah, poked her head into the shed and looked around, searching for something she needed. Oh, there you are, Timmy. She said with surprise, spotting me crouched down in her prom dress. My heart sank, and my face turned beet red. Sarah's friends, Megan and Emily, glanced over at the shed, curious about her sudden discovery. What are you doing in my dress? She asked, a mix of astonishment and curiosity in her eyes. I stammered, struggling to find an excuse. I, um, I just wanted to see what it feels like, you know, for fun. Sarah raised an eyebrow, clearly skeptical. For fun? In my prom dress? Megan and Emily couldn't help but giggle at the situation, finding it all rather amusing. Sarah continued to eye me, her expression growing more serious. You know, Timmy, I think it's time you come out and join us. Megan and Emily would love to meet my brother. Panic surged through me at the thought of stepping out of the shed and facing her friends in this compromising attire. But Sarah had a firm tone in her voice, and there was no escaping her ultimatum. Seeing no other option, I reluctantly emerged from the shed, the dress swaying around me as I stepped into the daylight. Megan and Emily greeted me with smiles and a hint of amusement. Sarah put an arm around my shoulders and said, Timmy, these are my friends, Megan and Emily. And, well, today you're my sister, not my brother. I was trapped, dressed as a girl in front of her friends, but there was no choice but to play along. My sister had made it clear, if I refused, she would reveal my secret to our parents. As the day continued, I found myself in a peculiar and surreal situation, surrounded by my sister Sarah and her friends, Megan and Emily, all of them treating me as though I were one of the girls. The unease I had felt earlier slowly began to wane, replaced by a strange mix of curiosity and camaraderie. Sarah and her friends dared me to do increasingly feminine activities. The first dare was to go shopping for dresses with them. It felt odd to browse the racks of clothing, offering opinions and taking fashion advice. I had to admit, though, there was something strangely liberating about trying on different outfits, even if it was all a facade. Megan then suggested we visit a makeup store. Inside, they dared me to apply lipstick and experiment with various cosmetics. It was a challenge, but with their guidance, I started to get the hang of it. Surprisingly, I found myself enjoying the process of transforming my appearance. 
Next up, Emily proposed that we get our nails done. I hesitated at first, but with Sarah's encouragement, I agreed. The sensation of getting a manicure was unfamiliar, but as the technician painted my nails, I couldn't help but feel a sense of relaxation. It was almost therapeutic. Finally, we visited a jewelry store, where the dares continued. Emily handed me a pair of studded earrings and dared me to try them on. As I looked at my reflection in the mirror, I was taken aback by how much I resembled a girl. Throughout the day, Sarah and her friends were incredibly supportive, teaching me about the world of makeup, fashion, and beauty. They treated me as one of their own, making me feel like part of their close-knit group. Just as I thought my day of dressing up as a girl was over, we encountered another unexpected twist. While walking back home, we bumped into a group of Sarah's male friends on the street. I felt a rush of panic, realizing I was still dressed in her prom dress, makeup, and earrings. Sarah, always quick on her feet, introduced me as her friend from out of town. Her male friends seemed genuinely surprised to meet me, unaware of my true identity. One of them, named Chris, said with a grin, nice to meet you. Sarah talks about her friends all the time, but you're the first one she's introduced to us. His friends nodded in agreement. I smiled nervously, attempting to maintain my composure. The situation was bizarre, but I couldn't reveal my true identity now. We engaged in small talk, and I did my best to fit in as Sarah's out-of-town friend. It was challenging to maintain the facade, but I was determined not to give myself away. As we parted ways, Sarah's male friends invited her to hang out with them sometime, and to my surprise, she accepted. I couldn't help but feel a sense of accomplishment, knowing that I had successfully navigated this unexpected encounter while dressed as a girl. Returning home after that whirlwind day, I expected my secret cross-dressing adventure to remain just that, a secret. However, as we entered the house, we were greeted by the warm smile of our mother, who had apparently been eagerly awaiting our return. Timmy, is that you? She asked, her eyes wide with astonishment as she took in my appearance in Sarah's dress, makeup, and earrings. You look incredible. My heart raced as I stammered out an explanation. Mom, it's not what you think. I was just trying something out, just for fun. But my mother's reaction surprised me. Instead of anger or disappointment, she looked at me with a compassionate understanding. Timmy, darling, you don't need to explain yourself. You look lovely. If this is something you want to explore, know that you have my support. I was taken aback by her acceptance and kindness. My mother's words were a revelation. She saw something in me that I hadn't even seen in myself, and it made me question my own identity. I had only seen my cross-dressing as a secret escape, but she saw it as a potential path to self-discovery. Over the next few days, my mother encouraged me to dress as a girl around the house whenever I felt comfortable. She insisted that I should explore this part of myself openly, telling me, you deserve to be the person you want to be, Timmy. Her unwavering support and acceptance provided a safe space for me to further explore my identity. I started to embrace the feminine side of me, experimenting with different outfits, makeup, and hairstyles. It was an unexpected journey of self-discovery that I never could have foreseen when that fateful day began. As time passed, I began to accept that I didn't need to keep my cross-dressing a secret any longer. With my mother's support and understanding, I found the courage to be the person I was meant to be, not just at home, but in all aspects of my life. Under the nurturing embrace of my mother and sister, my journey of self-discovery continued to evolve. They actively supported and encouraged my exploration of my femininity. Sarah eagerly offered makeup tutorials and fashion advice, helping me refine my look. My mother, with a tender and guiding touch, taught me about skincare and haircare routines. As days turned into weeks, I found myself becoming increasingly comfortable in my newfound identity. I started to use the name, Tina, when I dressed as a girl, and it felt more natural with each passing day. The weight of secrecy and shame that had burdened me for so long was lifted, replaced by a sense of liberation and authenticity. My mother even suggested that I attend a local support group for people exploring their gender identity. With her encouragement, I decided to give it a try. The support group introduced me to others who shared similar experiences and struggles. 
It was there that I realized that my journey was more common than I had initially believed, and I found a network of individuals who embraced and accepted me for who I was. One evening, as we sat around the dinner table, my mother shared her thoughts with us. I see the happiness and confidence that has bloomed in Tina, she said, smiling warmly at me. It's essential that we continue to support her in this journey of self-discovery. I felt an overwhelming sense of gratitude for my family's unwavering support. Their love and understanding had transformed my life in ways I had never imagined. The feminization that began as a secret dare had evolved into a beautiful journey of self-acceptance and empowerment. As I continued to explore my femininity with the guidance of my mother and sister, I discovered that becoming the person I was meant to be was not just about changing my appearance. It was about embracing my authentic self and living my truth. Their love and encouragement were the catalysts for this transformation, and I knew I was on the path to becoming the woman I had always been deep down. As the days turned into months, the bond between my mother, sister, and me grew stronger. We shared laughter, tears, and countless heartfelt moments, and I felt more loved and accepted than I ever had before. One evening, as we sat in the cozy living room, my mother looked at both Sarah and me, her eyes shimmering with pride and happiness. I am so grateful to have two wonderful daughters, she said, her voice filled with emotion. Watching both of you grow into the amazing young women you are becoming fills my heart with joy. Tears welled up in my eyes as I realized the depth of my mother's love and support. Her words were a testament to her unwavering acceptance of our individual paths and identities. She saw Sarah and me not just as her children but as the unique and beautiful people we were becoming. My journey of self-discovery was still in its early stages, but with the love and encouragement of my family, I felt empowered to embrace my identity as Tina. The acceptance I found within our home extended to the world outside, as I slowly began to integrate Tina into my everyday life. I realized that being a young woman meant more than just outward appearances, it was about self-acceptance, strength, and authenticity. The journey was challenging, but with my loving family by my side, I had the support and courage to face the world as the woman I was meant to be. With each passing day, I gained confidence, and the walls that had once confined me seemed to crumble. The woman I was becoming was a testament to the power of love and acceptance, and I knew that my journey was far from over. But with my mother's love, Sarah's guidance, and my own determination, I was ready to embrace the world as Tina and fulfill my true potential.